We're live. We're live. Y'all did this. You did this. Ninety thousand dollars. I didn't think it would happen. I don't know what I was. Th- I don't know what I was thinking. Of course it would happen, bro. Of course. Of course there would be ninety thousand dollars donated for a twenty-year-old video game. It's twenty years. It's twenty years old this year. I think October twenty twenty-one is officially the day. Mark it on the calendar. Uh, the whole month of October. Just make a GTA 3 month. Play some GTA 3 for the whole <laughs> month. Why not, cousin? You donated for it. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody uh, being here, and I appreciate the donations. Thank you guys sincerely. I was hyping it up in the chat. I was hyping it up with Feasel earlier. And uh, I'm very blessed. From the bottom of my heart, or that might be the lunch. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we'll be playing Grant the Thought of Three from the beginning to the end, and hopefully everything goes well, and what could possibly go wrong? Joining me today, I have one commentator. His name is Antti. He knows Yo. a lot about, yep, yeah, there he is. You want to say your name, uh, say, say hello? Yo, my name is Yo. Antti. I'm also a GTA speedrunner, mainly the classic games like Vice City, GTA Free, this game. Vice City Stories, San Andreas, sometimes. And I yeah. am very excited and very nervous to be here, but I think we'll do fine. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Yeah, Antti is uh, a good boy. He's been working very hard on VCS Hundo. V- Vice City Stories, 100%. Sorry, I'll drop the lingo for just a moment. Uh, <laughs> game nobody plays. Nobody wants to play. So we True. will get right into it. Um, I, I've had this game up for six hours, so I, I hope it's going to be fine. Let me see just exactly what I was doing uh, earlier today. Right, of course, I was flying under the map and uh, perhaps spinning into the void with my dodo. <clears throat> anyway, we'll start a fresh new game. How about that? How about we just get it popping here? Shall we, folks? Are we ready? Okay, so I'll give a countdown starting from three. And we will officially be playing some Grand Theft Auto 3. Actually, I'll say three, three times. And then I'll hit start. And it's up to the producer to to figure out my counting method. All right? Ready? Three, three, three. Let's go. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Antsy. Really appreciate it, man. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate everybody being here. We're going to have some fun over the course of the next hour. So... What you miss, the first thing that happens, Claude gets, uh, he, he, he's dating this girl. They go on a bank heist. He sells her out, Catalina. Uh, she's also in San Andreas. Uh, you're, you're taken across a bridge, and some things happen, and now you're escaping from jail, as it is, as you do. Uh, we've got our friend 8-Ball in the back seat. There he is. We ran over some poor sap. It don't matter. Uh, you're gonna know there's some minor optimizations here. I'm just sawing the door off and spamming the camera a lot. And the reason I do that is it is going to despawn the traffic that is on the road in front of me. Hit the pause button and don't actually trigger the marker. That's what you got to do. It's yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> not not RNG, quite, but you know. RNG manipulation. That's whatever. Oh uh, yes, says. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, dude. Duh. Any mistake is RNG manipulation. It's not actually a mistake. It's intended. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yep. All right. Cool. We got a fresh change of clothes. You know, that prison jumpsuit is going to attract the attention that we do not want, which is the police attention. And we're just going to drive around to the Mafia Club and meet our friend Luigi. Luigi voiced by, um, I, I think he's voiced by Joey Pants, man. He's in The Sopranos. This game has, has some talent. We're not going to hear a lot of it because we skip cutscenes, but... Uh, you know, at least we can bring it up. Uh, so right now I'm looking for a taxi, and I literally just bashed my brain on one. There we go. Thank you, friend. The taxi... Right, that was, that's the RNG manipulation from before, to get this taxi to spawn here. Literally, yes. That's exactly right. So, uh, I just ran into a corner, and you saw my screen flash. And the reason that happened, I made a replay over what... Usually, there is a rampage icon. You did not see it because I am currently doing a mission. This is the mission. I pick up a girl from the hospital. Her name is Misty. Say hi to Misty. She's back there. A little harder to see her than 8-Ball. 
spamming the camera a bit and skirt right into the marker and don't actually finish the mission again i'm gonna have a problem <laughs> with markers like <laughs> dude I'm of all the things gonna, i'm just not gonna trigger any markers the first time all <clears> right <throat> so we're gonna take our taxi and we're gonna trigger the next mission of course which is don't spank my bee up oh running the wrong way game wants us to pick up the bat i'm not gonna pick up the bat i'm gonna be in the vicinity of the bat maybe take a look at the bat i'm sure it's a nice bat but i'm looking for gun this is grand theft auto so you need gun sir do you have gun for me no i don't know where his gun went <laughs> he for sure had a gun it's gone it fell into the nether that's okay there will be more gun for us i'm sure so despawning just a bit more and we're gonna have a nice little chit chat with a man who's been harassing some women there we go there we go problem solved boom there's no conversation quite like the conversation that my fender brings to the table at any rate let's continue to look and peruse the streets for gun no that man does not have gun I know, I know all the people that have gun. There we go. I found one. Do you have gun, sir? Yes. Nine bullets is four more than we need. You see me do the math in my head just there? You see me wiggle the brow? That was called a calculation. We're going to drift right into the pain spray. No, we're going to smash into the concrete to create more damage for these kind individuals working the garage to fix for us magically boom give us a spray paint throw that in for us no problem no problem at all and now we're going to stash this car in luigi's lockup luigi again the character working the uh the the mafia club that we went to earlier there's going to be some factions uh that we run into throughout this game the cartel is going to be the main antagonist really as they are most closely associated with Catalina. Now, I'm going to look for a police vehicle or a policeman. And maybe this is unlocked. Wow, marathon luck, dude. What is that, 60% chance to be locked? I believe. And we got it. We got it. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Yeah, that is actually very clutch, to be honest. Um, you unlocked... You guys unlocked the police car like you unlocked this run with your money, with your dollar bills. So here we go, pulling up to the club once again. We're doing the third mission. If you remember Misty, and if you like Misty, well, good news. We get to see some more Misty. So we're going to pull up with our car. By the way, if you'll notice in the top right of the screen, there is a timer and the timer is counting down right now. And this timer is the rampage timer. And the rampage timer, if you'll remember, I made a replay over a rampage icon earlier. When I got in the car, the more, the more astute viewers might've noticed that I triggered vigilante and the rampage at the same time. Now, Auntie, I believe you know what an Instapass is. If you are willing to do so, I, perhaps you would like to explain to the audience how an Instapass works as I make another Rampage replay. Oh, who's, who's not coming through on the stream? Okay, Anti is not coming through on the stream. We will fix that very shortly. No worries. That does happen in life. We flip the cop card. 
sometimes these things happen and you just have to deal with it you just have to deal with it he was he was really spitting though guys he was spitting fire like that cop car is on fire it was totally good i was listening i was grooving i was vibing we shot his leg oh, oh. dude that's a critical hit i don't know what the chances for that Ants, you there are you there brother did you come back to us if not that is Oh, it's fine, brother. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. We're going on to Van Heist now. We're going on to Van Heist. This is, this game is really simple. You know, this is like, this is a very primal game. It's like, just steal the van, dude. Literally, that's it. You know how in GTA nowadays, it's like you have six hours of dialogue per mission and 30,000 steps to every mission? Well, you just steal van, dude. That's it. You almost get busted as well. You see that cop? He was hungry. He was fiending. Look at this guy, too. They are out. The speed police are here. But we don't worry about it, man. We don't worry about it. We keep we keep rolling. So I left a taxi here earlier. It is now gone. The reason it's gone is <laughs> I had to uh, enter one too many vehicles because my cop car decided to flip out and, uh, and depart the run. So instead, I'm going to find a backup taxi. And I need a taxi. I need specifically a taxi. Hello. Hello. Dude. We're in here. Like swimwear. All right, let's go. So I'm going to make a quick detour here. We're going to we're going to start the taxi mission. And then I'm going to trigger this rampage right here like that and then start taxi and then cancel. And now I've got the rampage running again. I've got the rampage running while I'm on the mission. You're not supposed to do this. But we, <laughs> come on, we just do it anyway. We don't care. So now I'm going to complete this mission as quickly as I possibly can because I want to start the next mission twice in a row. I want to start two copies of that mission. And while our friend Tony gets threatened by the triad members here, uh, I'm going to throw it to Mattishek, our lovely host, for a few donations. Absolutely. We have a $25 donation from Bruno Fightmaster. Wish I could have caught the Zero, uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn run, but happy I got to catch the GTA 3 run with Fru. Such a cool runner, and always happy to see more of games done quick. Money goes to runner's choice. Black in Time has a $250 donation. KZ, chat has redeemed. Tell the chat their money. Chat, you were so money, baby. You guys don't even know how money you are, all right? You're 90,000 money. Because that was the amount that you sent in to watch this speed run. So, I, uh, the Rampage timer is two minutes, which is a little bit long. You know, I have some extra time to use, so I made another Rampage replay. I have to keep making these because they keep... The, the rampages just move around the map. They just move. You use one, it moves. I don't know how casual players are supposed to know. If, like if they pick up a rampage and they, and they fail it, that it moves. I don't know how they're supposed to know that. Dude. I don't know. But I know it because I play this game. And anyway... We're going to start this mission. The Rampage timer is going to run out right now. You should go see it on the screen. It says yep. Rampage failed. Boom. Uh, start the mission words, again. Things. Now, I'm going to intentionally Panic. die. Disaster. And the reason I'm doing this <laughs> All right. is because one copy of the mission thinks I have failed, and it, it gets rid of everything that the mission spawns. Right. The second copy of the mission sees that everything is gone, and it assumes that I have actually intentionally completed everything. So... It passes the mission, and now we get the next one. I need another taxi. I keep needing taxis, you know? Anti is back. Anti, are you uh, with so, Yes! Yes! <laughs> I had great timing. My I had internet problems as soon as the run started, basically, and it's fine now, I think. I hope it's fine. Oh my goodness, that was a disaster. Anyways, I'm back. Hello, what did I miss? Yo, man, we're doing Scam Insta. You want to explain that to the audience? Okay, so... um. 
I did explain the first instant pass when my voice was gone, but this is um, more or less the same thing. I'm not sure if we got to explain that or not, but what he's this is basically all a setup to start uh, Salvatore's Call of the Beating, the mission, while on the taxi driver submission. Uh, he needs his fire truck. It's actually very important because you need to start the mission, Salvatore's Call of the Meeting, before you execute the insta pass. Because if you don't do that, the, the game will crash because of uh, models not being loaded. So, what he does with the fire truck is he starts the mission and then counters it with Firefighter so that the mission's over. So, that's how he loads the model so it avoids the crash. But before all of that, he has to do this mission first with a pickup while on the rampage timer. And he's going to end this mission before Rampage Timer ends and do everything I mentioned beforehand with the fire truck and taxi driver before the Rampage Timer ends. The Rampage Timer being that tiny little purple timer in the top right. We have, <laughs> we have like enormous gun, dude. To those of you yeah. that don't know, the, the M16 is like the most broken gun. It is like super, it's like BFG GTA 3 edition, dog. It's like... It's wicked gun, especially on the PC edition. You don't have recoil, so you just shoot like laser beams out of the barrel. I don't have my taxi. Oh, oh my God! Hold on, marathon luck. Nice. Uh, will this still work? Will this work? Oh God! I'm not sure. I'm kind of worried about it. Me too. I'm worried too. I <clears throat> uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, crap. Okay. Yeah, so he has to start taxi driver before this timer ends and barely didn't make it in time. It was just Only like a barely. fraction away. Yeah. All right. So we're going to try this again, okay, chat? We're going to try it again, man. We're going to try it again because I want to show off the trick. All right. And we're going to run it. We're, we're going to run it back. We're going to run it back. All right. Nope. There's no problem with running it back. Yep. There's no problem with running it back. We're allowed to run it back. So what happened there was my taxi vanished. I don't know, somebody stole it. Somebody in chat stole my taxi, dude. Why would they do that? Why would chat do that to me? It is all right, man. We're going to do this again. And I'm really nervous about these mega jumps. If you watched my interview, you probably mentioned me discuss mega jumping, which is this. We are launching through the air at enormous speed. Did you see Claude's head start to shrink? That's <laughs> yeah. nuts. That's nuts. I don't know how that happens, dude. Anyway, I'm grabbing the fire truck again. The fire truck is an essential step to this process, as mentioned earlier. And the reason it's essential is because it allows us to break out of the mission after starting it once. Like Auntie said, you start the mission once, you load the models, and then you break out of the mission so that you can then start it again with taxi being held and then complete it proper. Or, I mean, it's not really completing it proper. That's not really the point. I would like to move this vehicle a, a little bit further to the right. There we go. There we go. I have some time. I have a little bit of bonus time. Bonus time. And you get to see you get to see me just obliterate these gentlemen. Yeah, the, the, this gun that this rampage gives you is actually insane. Like it shoots like maybe one bullet per frame, and every bullet is like it, it kills in one shot. So you know you can theoretically kill sixty people in like two seconds. It's kind of crazy. That's it. <laughs> if you think if you, if you had 60 people in a line, you know, you could kill them all instantly. This gun's insane. At any rate. At any rate. We cause as much chaos as we desire. That is all fine. So there's my taxi, dude. No one from chat stole my taxi this time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So now you get to watch this process actually happen. I go into top-down camera because... Uh, it makes uh, this a little bit easier. It makes it a little easier to walk around like this. So, firefighter, start and stop taxi. I'm holding it down. The rampage timer's ticking down. And now, Salvatore's call to meeting started. And then suddenly, we're at the Mafia Mansion. And that's Sal. He is voiced by someone else who's famous. I don't I don't remember the, the gentleman's name. Uh, at any rate, now now we meet Maria. Maria is very excited. Look, look how excited she is. <laughs> She's so happy. Uh, 
that was worth rear-ending the uh, the van there. It was hundred percent. Of course, like that. yeah, yeah. And of course, the side profile of Claude. Look at that. I'm still trying to get that hair. Actually, <laughs> I know. I, Ansi, do you know the hair product he uses for that? I'm not too sure myself. I was gonna ask him, but I'm not uh, sure. Well, it's it's cement actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here we meet Chico. Chico tells us the location of a hot party. Come on, Fido. Let's go check out the hot party. <laughs> it's hot lit. In what way? Uh, probably very steamy. It's in a warehouse, and I don't think they have proper aircon. And there's oh, probably there's probably like packed in like sardines, dude. It's probably extremely, the, yeah. extremely sweaty. So sweaty that that this limo is about to flip. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just the whole streets. The the sky is 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 raining right now. You know, I'm gonna blame that on the rain. At any rate, we do a little goof. So while we uh, drive Maria here. I'm going to do something that looks a little bizarre, but it has a very, very important uh, 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 purpose. Purpose is the word I was looking for. So I'm going to park next to this mafioso gentleman, and I'm going to piss him off. And he's going to shoot me. And he's going to try and steal me out of my limo, except uh, I'm going to finesse him by parking against it. There's a... Uh, <clears throat> There's a SWAT van coming because they they heard that I was uh, doing a run and they're very upset. So this mafia gentleman uh, is going to defend us from the, the the SWAT raid. We're going to pick up Misty, not Misty, sorry, Maria, <laughs> and we're just going to we're just going to leave. We're just going to leave. Uh, I have two wanted stars, so I might have to dodge some police as I drive back to the uh, to the mansion. And while I do that, I'm going to throw it over to Matashek to read some donation. We have a $50 donation from Basement Hippo. KZ Fru is always so entertaining. I never miss one of his runs at GDQ. Hyped to see him tear GTA 3 apart. And a three hundred and seventeen dollar and seventy cent donation from Accident. As usual, Casey Fru is bringing us another amazing GTA run. So glad this incentive was met. Now let's meet that tuxedo incentive for Metal Gear Solid. Right on. Man. Thank you very much. Okay, so Maria is gonna express some gratitude that I'm gonna listen to, and then skip. Uh, doing it that way, I think, saves two seconds. I think it saves two seconds. This is going to be another mega jump. We're going to spawn this taxi and mega jump towards it. Because that's just, Come on, dude. Why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you want to <laughs> fling your entire body into a light post? That wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt. That wouldn't hurt. It would not. No. Claude... I mean, Claude's hair is cement. His body probably is, too. It's fine. <laughs> it's unstoppable force and impenetrable object sort of thing going on. So I'm yeah. going to drive up onto the train tracks... And I'm not doing this for, for funsies. Uh, it's kind of funny, but, you know. It is, yeah. There's a rampage up here, right around here. Again, I'm on a mission, so you can't see these right now. And I'm going to make my rampage replay there, because I'm going to need specifically a rampage replay that gives me access to a rampage that is passed with explosions. And we're going to cause 10 explosions. But first... Um, <clears throat> you know, we need to uh, pick up our friend Curly Bob from uh, the, the, the the club. I'm blanking right now, dude. So, we're going to take the Portland Harbor. This is actually a secret way to beat this mission. Usually you follow him as the taxi in front of me uh, drives him to the harbor. Uh, you could just, just drive him yourself, dude. Look, there he is. There he is. He's There's the light short. post. Okay. He is, yeah, he, I mean... I'm Can't not really sure what's Curly him. about him. I don't know why he has the name Curly Bob, but anyway, he's a rat, and we're going to find that out by bringing him to Portland Harbor. And he's going to meet with, uh, this is actually our ex-girlfriend here uh, in this cutscene. Uh, um, uh, um, Catalina and uh, nondescript dude. I forget his name, but he's important later. Uh, we whacked Curly Bob with our front fender. Very, very... Uh, sufficient way of of doing him as they say 
And now I'm going to drive back to, uh, to Tony's. And there's my fire truck. If I didn't do the thing with the limo and the dude earlier, we would not have this fire truck. If that doesn't make sense, that's okay. Uh, it doesn't have to. Uh, every time I start and stop firefighter, it causes an explosion. So I get another uh, vehicle exploded onto my rampage. I start this mission. I blow up the fire truck for my last vehicle to explode. I start the mission again. We do a little mega jump into the ground. Mission passed. It's that easy. All you got to do is step one, start drawing the owl, and step two, finish drawing the owl. That's how you do it. That's how you speedrun GTA 3 as well. We're on to Blowfish now. This is a mission where I drive a garbage truck. And you're going to see me do some mega jumping to get to said garbage truck. I might have missed it because of my, uh, you know, technical difficulties earlier, but was mega jumping, like, explained? How does it uh, work? No. Feel free to explain it. So, when you blend two animations together, and the la when, a ladder, when a ladder one's a jump, sorry. So, any animation plus a jump. So, in what Fru did there was he punched, and then he jumped. And after jumping, he played a replay. When you do that, some... I don't know the exact technicalities, but it just... It breaks some horizontal velocity value, and it's set to some, like, insanely high number, and that's what, what flings you, like, across the air, basically. And when you do that on, like, a flat surface, like on the previous mission, it, it kills you, because you're going so fast, and it's just instant death, basically. So it's used to die at pretty much any spot remotely, or to just travel a long distance, like, on this mission, and several other missions. So yes. that. It, it, and they actually fixed that in Vice City, which is weird, because I don't know if anybody knew about it, but uh, it's not possible in, in future iterations of Grand Theft Auto. Sadly. Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty neat, so. GTA 3, exclusive. Yeah. Anyway, we have brought our garbage truck all the way to the Turtlehead Fishing Company, and like any good uh, rival gang, we're gonna deliver them a little present, a little a little birthday present. Uh, guys, it's my birthday tomorrow. That's not a meme, actually. So thank you, GDQ, for the birthday gift of getting to run Grand Theft Auto 3 here for everybody and raise a lot of money for charity. Uh, we death warp here because it's fast. And now I need an ambulance. Good. Wow, I'm just getting good luck with these locked cars today, dude. Yeah. Um, that is a 30% chance of being locked, and I just, I haven't tugged on a handle once today. This is very nice. Uh, so, we're gonna take this ambulance and just park it outside of Sal's for now. Or Oops. crash it into his wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or do that. And, uh, just leave, just leave it here. Just, uh, you know, you never know when, when someone might need it. Or when I might need it. Thank you for the happy birthdays, Chad. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so, now is basically the final mission of Portland. This is the first island, Portland. We're going to drive down the hill. Because we just don't care. Yeah, and it's that easy. cool, man. It's yep. easy. Easy every time. Perfect insane stunt bonus. Yep. Do it. You can do it in real life and you'll be fine. I uh, don't know. All right, so we are utilizing the services of 8-Ball, who knows a thing or two about explosives. And we're just going to drive our friend 8-Ball here in the back seat. Ooh. Ooh. I'm, I'm driving kind of weird because it's memes, because I'm trying to meme while I'm playing. Uh, we need to... Don't look. All right, anyway. Uh, so I'm going to drive down to the harbor. I'm going to get out of my vehicle, stand on top of it, and snipe everybody on the boat. While I do that, I would like Matashek to read some donations or anything else that he would like to impart. Thank you, Casey. We have a $50 donation from a musical Daredevil, hashtag Frew Crew. Hi, Casey. Greetings from the SGDQ Onsite Crew Hotel. Can't wait to see some quality dodo flying, and here's hoping Portland goes smoothly. And we have so a far one. So good, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. We can keep going. 
All right, we'll do one more for now. We have a $100 donation from Best in Tamriel. Love for all of the great runners, tech, crew, and fans. And this goes to GTA and KZ Frew greatness. Yeehaw. Okay, so we uh, sniped all the dudes. Now we're going to drive away. And uh, because 8-Ball needs to pass the mission for us, but it takes them a bit of time to get to the end of the mission. So while that's happening, I make a Rampage replay. And we just chill, wait for the screen. Loud explosion. Sorry. <clears throat> and we go on. Uh, we're going to drive up the hill and go back to our ambulance. We're looking this time for our ambulance because we want to use the side mission again to start a rampage and then just walk into uh, Sal's for his last request. Those of you that watch GTA speedrunning, maybe I've heard of Joshimus. The first time Joshimus did the mission last request, he got in the bombed cheetah and blew himself up because Salvatore, for some reason, wants us iced or taken out or whacked. Um, and if you just read the pager, as you get near the objective here, you would know not to get in the cheetah. Josh Moose. Anyway. <laughs> Shout outs to Josh Moose. Yep. He's very kind. He's been at, he's been at ESA. I've met him. I've played board games with him. He's very, he's a lovely human. Uh, we just do a little goof in here. And now here you are embarrassing me. I know, I know. The, the, the payback. Payback for what? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I was going to say payback for what? <laughs> Being a nice person? The, the score is now even. And by me even, I mean in my favor. So, um, at any rate, last request, we come up here and we leave the island. And this is, uh, this is pretty much considered the last mission of Portland. This is when you're going to get your Portland time. Portland time kind of works the way frame rules do in Super Mario Bros. 1. If you've ever heard Darby and explain a frame rule, he describes it as bus stops. You yep. get to the bus stop and the bus shows up and then it takes you away. It doesn't matter if you get there like too early, as long as you get there in time for the bus to arrive. Even if you get there at the last second, you're still there in time for the bus. In this case, the, the bus stop is every 30 minutes past the hour. Or rather, in this case, specifically, I'm looking to start this mission before the top of the hour. So you notice my in-game timer right now just hit five o'clock which means that I'm looking at a 7.30 Portland time. Because from the top of the hour, you add two minutes and 30 seconds, or two hours and 30 minutes, because each minute is a second. Duh, come on, dude, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then that's when Salvatore decides to leave Luigi's Club. And when he leaves Luigi's Club, we're gonna settle the score, so to speak. So, because we have about 2 minutes and 30 seconds where nothing really happens, we, we do a little setup. We set some stuff up. We set up the next dupe and fail for the mission under surveillance. We, we pick up a, a, a rampage here, the rockets rampage. And when we pick up the rockets rampage here, this right here, and we can pick this up because we failed a rampage during this mission. So that way the game thinks we're no longer on a mission. Or rather, the on mission variable has been set to zero. So I yeah. picked this up about eight minutes past the hour. I have this rampage going. And now I'm going to the alternate location for the, for the rampage. Each rampage has an A location and a B location. So now this is where the rampage is going to be after I fail it intentionally, which I will be doing. Now, I need gun. Uh, thankfully, gun is pretty easy to acquire in Liberty City. Uh, so, I'm going to go and purchase a Uzi to uh, replace the rockets that I have here. So it's basically gonna overwrite what I'm holding. And I need this because there are some guys that Maybe don't agree with me 
uh, having a little conversation with his boss. They might want to stop me from uh, from doing that. So right now, I I know what's going to happen, so I'm setting up for it. It's kind of not fair to every character in this game that I know exactly what's going to happen before it happens. But it makes for content. So I'm going to park this vehicle here. I'm doing this to elongate the path that Salvatore walks from his door down the alley. I'm standing here at 7.30. Remember 7.30? Here come the guys. We got them. All right, here comes Sal. Good night. See you later. Uh, I don't know what happens to him. But I would imagine uh, maybe not good things. Anyway. Probably not. We're going to call it a day. Yep. Now we're going to launch across the lake. Here we go. Whoop-bam! Easy every time. The reason I do that, I need to make it to this next mission before my rampage runs out. So thankfully, I have been able to cross the entire river, the, whatever whatever that's called, just body of water. And we're doing another dupe, and we're doing another fail. Just jumping backwards, failed, wasted. I know I'm standing up, just forget about it. And there we go, now we're at the hospital. There you go. And that's Patched the up. scariest part of the run done, thank goodness. Pretty much, yeah. This, the, that's that's about as technical as it's gonna get. Yeah. Uh, this will be the last rampage that I activate, and I activate it with paramedic here, and then I cancel paramedic so that I can take story missions again. And I'm just gonna be driving back, having completed under surveillance. We're gonna do paparazzi purge, <clears throat> which is something that I do every day. Um. Anyway. <laughs> We're so, gonna take uh, our banshee here. If yeah, if ahead, all Angel. of that like technical like rampage, you know, insta pass, dupe fail stuff like flew over your head, the rest of the run is a lot more traditional, you know, GTA gameplay. It's just with some fast strats and whatnot. So there's that. Oh yeah. Yeah, like part of that here is I have my rockets rampage and I can use that to, to rocket the paparazzi. There you go. Very easy. Normally, you have to chase them in the boat or something. I don't know. That's slow. I hate boats. Boats are slow. They, they you know, it's input delay. It really sucks. Uh, anyway, no matter. Now we're on to Payday for Ray. Payday for Ray is pretty straightforward. I'm really trying to get this Banshee door off. Really trying. Uh, getting the door off your Banshee is especially difficult. You got to, like, hit things at weird angles to, to force this door to be off of your vehicle. All right, here we go. There you go. Oh. Worth it. Worth it, dude. Worth it. <laughs> Spent quite a lot of time trying to get it off. Might not be worth it, actually, but, you know. Worth it. <laughs> there, yep. It's off now, so. Can't yep. go back. Love you, All right, so I'm just going to drive around and answer some payphones. And uh, Ray is going to be on the other end here, masking his voice. I don't know. Sounds like he's talking through a dial-up modem, perhaps. Uh, he's a very paranoid individual. Has some ties to the government. Uh, and we're meeting him through, uh, Asuka? I believe, are you a, do you know lore, Ansi? <laughs> yeah, um, so Asuka and, uh, well, Ray contacts Asuka, or the way around, I'm not sure. Either way, like, Ray finds out that, uh, Asuka has contact with this man who is very efficient at his, uh, you know, work that he is assigned, so he wants to contact this man himself and assign him some work. And, uh, that's, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to answer a couple more phones. Nothing terribly interesting is happening here. Although, I will say I'm about to make a Bribe Star replay. And I'm going to be using these Bribe Star replays pretty much for the rest of the game. It's just a very convenient way to deal with the police. Um, you're going to notice that pretty much most cop attention, I can just uh, eviscerate immediately. Uh, it's going to be very, very handy to do so. While I answer the final few phones and finally make it to Ray's location, we can read some donations. We have a $50 donation from Vortex279. I really like what Doctors Without Borders represents. I may not be able to give a lot, but I hope this bit can help those people who you strive to save every day. Thank you, Vortex. No donation is too small, and every donation helps. Moman donated $250.
Does O oh, Fru? I could listen to you read the dictionary and still be thoroughly entertained. Thank you for being your super entertaining self, and thank you to everyone who works so hard to make this event a success year after year, overcoming any obstacle. Much love from Acuity. Yo, Acuity's in chat for sure. Thank you guys very much. All right, so Ray likes to hang out in the park public restrooms. So we just, I don't know, talk to him, I guess. And he, he, uh, he has us do some jobs here. Uh, what I was supposed to do, one thing that I actually did not manage to remember to do because I was distracted by everything going on. So many people in chat sending me love. Uh, I was supposed to do a trick with the rockets rampage to secure way more rockets than I have any reason to have, but instead we're going to do it the hard way, and that's okay because hard, hard stuff is cool. So we're going to actually throw grenades into this man's window. First to, try. That's first kind of, try, that's kind baby. Of cool. Flush yep. them out. <laughs> and there we go. Boom. Taken care of. Mission Pat, 30 grand. If you've ever played basketball, um, throwing that grenade into that window is like that, but like 20 times harder, so good yeah, job. Dude. It's like, yeah, swish, three points. All right. So, we're going to come here and go on to the next mission, Arms Shortage. This mission is a pun. Uh, the more astute viewer will see why. Just keep an eye out for the arm shortage. Uh, we're going to go meet Phil Cassidy. He's a character that you probably better know from Vice City and Vice City Stories. Uh, who has a, a very, another very famous actor. Um, but not in this game. He talks a little bit differently and has a slightly different backstory uh, than he does in Vice City. Baby. It was a little rocky, but we're in there. Alright. So I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to grab the rockets. Because some folks are coming. And we need to deal with the folks. This might be first contact with the cartel here. I'm not sure. We're kind of blowing through the game right now. Alright, there's some dudes here. Hello. There's some dudes here. Now we got everybody. And I'm going to just jump right past Phil. He's going to jaw a bit. And we're going to grab uh, <clears throat> some rockets for reasons. You know, I can't. Can you imagine what any reasonable person would do with a rocket launcher in Grand Theft Auto 3? I can't. I can't. I just like collecting things. So we're going to grab maybe two of these here because why not? I'm going to get back in my Banshee and move onwards swiftly forward to the rest of the game. Next mission is Evidence Dash. Evidence Dash is like 100% random. Uh, it's it's just the mission you got to do. You just got to do it. Uh, there's, there's evidence in the back of a pickup truck. There's six evidence. You need to get all six evidence. You can only get one evidence at a time. You, you get the evidence, you pick it up, you, you hit the evidence out of the car again. You, you hit the policeman. You hit the bribe star. It's no problem. You hit the limo. <laughs> that, I don't know. That might be a bit more expensive. Uh, I'm a little worried because usually you want the Banshee to have a decent amount of health. And it's actually kind of difficult to gauge how healthy a vehicle is by just looking at it. You know? Uh, I, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty beat up. But... We're, we're going to see what we can do here. I might, in fact, swap vehicles if I see another Banshee. Specifically, I like Banshees. Banshees are very good for evidence stash. Not seeing any Banshees. Of course I'm not seeing any Banshees. And it's raining. Of course it's raining, dude. Oh, this is a really bad time for it to rain. Yep. So, one, two. He's driving over the edge. My car is on fire. I failed the mission because he just went right into the water. No, nope, that's, that's all right. Classic. That's all right. Okay. Just making sure the situation's under control. It is. I just need to find a Banshee, and we just start that mission again. In the meantime, we could read some donations. Here we go. All right. We have a $25 donation from Tommy. who says, Metal Gear. Greetings from Finland. Awesome to see Metal Gear Solid 3 once again in GDQ. 
Really excited to see Apache Smash run this game with, with the Tuxedo Camo. Let's get those donations rolling so that Tuxedo incentive is met. Keep up the good work, everyone. And a $100 donation from Koi Wolf. Thanks, KZ Fru, for some of the most entertaining runs. Good luck with the rest. Yo, thank you, man. All right, we're jumping back in. Yeah, evidence stash in rain near the bridge there is like a recipe for disaster. All right, but no worries. We trudge on then. We are money. Here we go. Round two. Maybe I'll get all six evidence this time. There we go. Bribe that cop away. Oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know where the accelerator. Maybe he's driving stick for like the first time. It's about how well I drive stick. All right. This is actually going much better. I didn't quite. I, I'm trying to like pit him a little bit so that he, uh, you know, I knock him off course a bit. But that was pretty. That was pretty swag. That was yeah. That, that was pretty good second time around. Oh yeah. No, come back, dude. You. Well, if that if that car didn't get away, it would have been really good. It would have been real solid. I agree. Instead, we have stallion. Oh, cop. Not anymore. Bribe that star very very quickly. Every time I can play my replay, my bribe star replay, whenever I want to uh, to just have one of my wanted stars vanish, and I can just keep doing that over and over. Uh, it is extremely handy. It makes this uh, way more tolerable and possible. I'm, I could have stopped for a sports car, maybe not necessary, but the stallion is so slow, uh, especially around corners, that I'd really rather not bother with it. So, evidence get. Now we meet Donald. Down here. Mr. Love. He's going to give us a few missions. Liberator, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to grab a cartel cruiser. We're gonna be using that vehicle for a uh, decent amount of time. In the meantime, I think it's about to rain again, and this is actually a perfect time, perhaps, to do a weather skip. So play a replay at the top of the hour. Just skip past that weather. Also, bribe that star away. I'm really not playing. I'm not playing any games. Right now, I'm taking this run very seriously. See, there's there's the rainbow in the distance. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> All right. So I'm looking for a cartel cruiser right now, as as required by the mission. All right. We have a few. We have a few here. Very good. Very, very good. Just going to take one. And now we're going to have to rescue an old gentleman. So he's right around the block here. Uh, we're going to uh, freeze these guys in place, effectively. So the gate's going to open. I'm going to play a quick replay. Boom. There we go. Now we can just run them over, and they're not going to care. Uh, I will shoot this rocket above this man's head. Grab his gun. This guy's going to be in one of three garages. He's in the second one. Come on, friend. Let's go. Uh, sir, you, you're... you're Stepping in some, uh, some ketchup sauce there. I'm driving over some ketchup sauce. That's fine. All right. How you doing back there? I can barely see him. Cannot see him over the headrest. He is uh, not of uh, grand stature, uh, supposedly. So we're going to drive back, all the way back, to uh, Mr. Love's building, drop this gentleman off, and start uh, the next mission. And while we do so... I'll throw it to the host for some more donation. It looks like our hype train is once again boarding, this time for Snake and his tuxedo. Michael starts us off with a $5 donation to get a well-dressed Snake. Another donation from Dark says Snake needs to be dressed to impress. He absolutely does. We also have a $50 donation from Game Wizard. Happy birthday, Eve, to KZ Fru. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, guys, for the donations. Keep them coming, and make sure to donate for that tuxedo incentive for, MS for MGS3. I believe it ruins the camo rating. It's basically going to make the uh, the run way more difficult. So, uh, you know, that sounds perfect to me. Uh, so, we actually need another cartel cruiser for this mission, but uh, <laughs> I already have one. I don't yeah. need to go find one. I got one, dude. So, we're going to use this. 
uh, to to uh, drive into this parking garage. There's a character that we effectively have not really interacted with. His name is Kenji. He's a mission giver, but uh, his entire mission chain is optional. We don't need to bother with it whatsoever. Uh, however, we do need to uh, have him meet his uh, demise here. Uh, and the fastest way to do so is to park this right around here, stand on this white line, and line up uh, some rocket shots, and I hope I land these appropriately. One, two, and three. Those look okay. Let's see if the game agrees. In fact, it does. Kenji is fender me. Nice. Yep. He's actually rocket bits. Um, that, sh that shot is actually pretty precise, so... Frankly, yeah, well. thank you. Yeah, yep. thank you. Yeah, it's not easy. I, something I, I definitely spent a lot of time practicing just to get a, a bit more edge on my time. Uh, bribe a couple stars away. I'm just going to leave the one because one star is pretty, pretty harmless. And uh, we're just going to cruise all the way back to our uh, mission giver here. You're supposed to just dump the car and, like, get out of it, and you pass the mission when you do that. But we just drive back to our next mission here, and we get out. The mission passes, and we can immediately take the next one, which is a drop in the ocean. Although, runners of this game often call it a Dito, because that's what it abbreviates to. A-D-I-T-O. You just say it as a word. That's an Infernus. I'm just going to let that drive past me, because there's another one here. So we have a timer. You'll notice the timer, the 150, 147, blah, blah, blah. It's counting down. Uh, we have some time to kill effectively. So we just grab a faster vehicle, one of the fastest we can find. That's going to be either a Infernus or a Cheetah. I just launched that man. Oh, the family van, front end, gone, dented. All right. Anyway, wasn't really my goal, but it was kind of cool. I'm going to, if you have seen my Vice City run, you probably remember the point in that run in which I banished people to the Shadow Realm. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. This taxi driver, he's he's now going to stand there for the rest of the game. Uh, and his taxi is going to be there for the rest of the game as well. And I'm going to visit that once again very shortly here after I uh, accumulate some resources. I'm just going to pop in and return to the taxi. I'm gonna damage it to a very precise amount. This is a setup for something that's gonna happen way later. Way later. Way later. But we have time to do it right now, so we're doing it now. But we're taking the taxi. And we had to do that little glitch and banish him, unfortunately, because uh, we just wanna make sure that his vehicle's gonna stay there. Thank you for your service, sir. You can actually just walk right through. Thank you. Uh, Claude was, uh, making a rude gesture to somebody. But anyway, we're going to drive to the dock and finally actually get on with our mission now. I'm checking my resources. I have 100 armor and 100 health because we keep it 100 here, baby. Well, not anymore, not the armor, yeah, but we still keep it 100. Ba we keep it 198, baby. And uh, we're going to actually do the mission now. We're supposed to grab a just a boat. Any boat works, really, but this boat is fast boat. I think it's called Speeder or something. And uh, we're supposed to grab Dick's packages here. You'll notice that this game likes its packages. There's like a hundred hidden packages. There's those packages in, in the truck earlier. There's these packages. We're going to grab more packages later. We're just we packages, dude. This game enjoys having packages. the player. Yeah, enjoys having the player collect things, so... Uh, we're just grabbing these as they drop. You can see that I've effectively caught up with the plane here, so all of that time I spent goofing around actually uh, does not matter. So we're going to bribe these stars away. There we go. Get out of the boat. And uh, just have a nice peaceful drive all the way back to Mr. Love. And while we do that, while we calmly drive our vehicle with no... No doors! None. Because doors are slow, baby! You don't need doors. They're completely unnecessary. No doors. No. Mm -mm. Uh, while we drive back, calmly and peacefully, enjoying the breeze coming through our cabin, we can uh, hear some donations. Work Metaphor bought 20 tickets to the $5 hype train. Doing great, GDQ. Let's get that tuxedo.
Jargon 1674 donated $100. Donating during the KZ through GTA 3 run because this is endlessly entertaining. Thanks for making this happen, GDQ and chat. Thank you, Jargon. Thank you for retrieving. Give you a couple more. All right. Sharab donated $33.33. Awesome run. May these threes be with you and Doctors Without Borders today. Woodpecker donated $25. First ever donation for SGDQ since I couldn't afford it prior. So happy to finally be able to contribute to this amazing cause. To all the runners, keep up the great work. Thank you, guys. Keep the support coming. Donate for that tuxedo or whatever you would like. But please consider donating. So this bridge is on a fixed timer. This bridge likes to just rise up for no reason very often. Uh, we're fast enough that we just cruise right over it the first time. You can maybe see it. No, no, I tried to show it to you, but too fast. Too fast. This is too speedy. The furnace without the doors, man. Yeah. Get that extra MPH or, or KMH, depending on your geographical region. All right, so this is uh, effectively the final arc of the game. You have a few missions left, just a handful, but they are very long, long missions. So this one, this is where we get the Dodo Man. I talked about the Dodo earlier. These guys don't know what's happening. They just get clowned on. And uh, we get in the Dodo, and now we fly the Dodo. Ansi, tell us a little bit about flying the Dodo and how hard it is. Well... If you've, if you've ever played any game where you like fly a plane, you basically forget everything you know about flying planes in video games because this is the direct opposite of it. You actually weren't really supposed to fly this thing at all, but we find a way. Speedrunners find a way. It's not even a speedrunner thing, it's a, you know. Anyways, so instead of uh, raising the nose up to, you know, fly up, you actually point the plane down. And when you point the plane down, you build up speed and you can use said speed to gain height and, you know, distance. So, the plane the plane is really fast, obviously. Like, there's normally, like, if you're driving a car, you know, you only have, like, one bridge to go over, and traveling through land because of that is really slow. So, now that we have a plane, we can travel pretty much anywhere we want really fast, and we pretty much use this plane for almost the rest of the game, except for one mission, where, you can't use the plane, like, you just physically can't. Um, the next mission in particular uh, is saves, like, two minutes alone because of this plane, but it's also really scary. Um, I hope it goes well. Yeah, yeah don't obey, baby. Let's, we're going to rock it. All right. Yep. Yeah, so uh, change of the camera here is very, very important because you want to have a clear... Uh, road to take off from if there's like cars in the way. It's just really a, it's a tragic sadness uh, because you know it's just how you get how you gonna get around the thing in your way. Uh, so we just make that room ahead of time by just despawning the traffic. I'm gonna do a bit of a crash landing. There we go. All right, pull pull up my plane here on the main thoroughfare. Hopefully nobody minds it. Hopefully I don't get a ticket while I'm gone. Oh, no, right. you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got a Brinks truck coming. Watch out. I'm going to skip this fog because Yo. I like to see where I'm going. I was honestly, I was thinking about not skipping the fog and driving or flying in the fog for, for the fun. But uh, it didn't look so much like fog and just like massive fart cloud. And that is not really appealing <laughs> to look at. Yeah. You know, uh, so gross. anyway, we are just going to fly, just tilt up a bit. I'm tilting up, tilting up, tilting up, tilting up, because losing the speed is what makes you descent, and uh, stalling out effectively is what yeah. really helps us bring this to a uh, nice, clean stop here. As you kind of forget to mention that earlier, so like, yeah, instead of, um, you know, stalling down to land. is a slap in the land. face. Ah. Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, um, yeah, so you, you point the plane up to, like, lose speed because you just, like, stall, and that just brings the plane down to the ground, and that's how, we, that's how we land. So it's also very opposite in that way. Pretty much every way is opposite with this plane, except for left and right, kind of. All right, here we go, Dodo Bait. So there are three dudes scattered across Shoreside Vale, which is this third island. Oh, let me... 
touch the grass there. Very important that I do that. Seriously, it is. I don't know why, but it is. Um, I almost forgot. All right, so we got to get enough speed to make it up this cliff face here. And you'll notice there are some cars that are scattered around this map. Uh, I'm just going to fly over them, and they're going to be, like, sitting in the car, and they're going to be like, That's the guy! We need to follow this guy! We don't like that guy! Uh, so they're going to engage in, I don't know, the reverse Goodfellas helicopter scene and just drive around <laughs> um, following my plane as I uh, merrily, merrily fly uh, just within their radius to aggro them and then lure them into a trap that that, that is set up for them here. So the landing is going to be hairy. Here we go. Ooh, put it down. Put it down, baby. Let's go. Nice and easy. Well, that, <laughs> That's that pretty was... much the scary part done. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So this guy with the shotgun right in front of me is going to carry, dude. We <laughs> talked about him a bit. When Ancy and I were having our, having our pregame laughs, we were talking about this guy right here, right in front of us. He's going to carry. Yeah. Because the shotgun just blasts the uh, living nonsense out of these cars. And we're going to need him to carry here. So watch closely. Hopefully this doesn't get out of hand. These guys have some pretty powerful guns. Some of them have the M16 I talked about earlier. It's just as deadly in their hands as it is mine. Oh, this guy. Okay, perfect. Everybody's gotten out. So we can uh, just take care of them and leave. That was very, very clean. Yeah. I'm Couldn't very have asked pleased for better. with that bait. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. just to just to elaborate earlier on that touching the grass like at the start of the mission that wasn't a joke that is actually necessary because if you don't do that they won't follow you the, the free cars of course uh they won't follow you around in the air they'll actually drive to where you took off from which is on the other side of a map and you don't want them to go there you want them to follow you because that's yeah that's the oh, entire yeah. point of the mission so there's yeah, uh, it's just some that. like ai manipulation type stuff Cool. All right. So, returning once more to uh, to this compound here. All of these late game missions effectively uh, have something to do with this this construction site, which thankfully has a massive landing zone for us with this plane. Yeah. Oh man, it's so nice. Just uh, the way that works out is a little serendipitous, frankly. This mission can also be a slap, but um, not really as bad as the last one. So, <clears throat> I actually like Espresso to go. Uh, casually, a lot of people don't like this mission because you have eight minutes to destroy things that are scattered throughout the entire map. You know, so it's a mission that truly takes place over the entire map. And, uh, I don't know, I, I just like driving around, rocketing, building. It's pretty cool, man. Like, it's kind of it's kind of a vibe. Um, so, uh, we start going by going to Portland. Uh, there are two stalls in Portland, two stalls on Shoreside, and two plus two is four, so there's five? Or is it nine? It's nine stalls, I think? Or is it seven? I don't remember. I'm going to be way, honest, I can't count. I can't either. I, I don't count. I just go fast. All right. It'll tell you once you destroy the first stall Yeah. how many are left, which is right nice. here. So the first one's here. All right, it is nine. Nice. Uh, I knew that. Oh, this jerk spun me out. So, uh, anyway, you just destroy all nine stalls. You go around the first two. I do give them a little nudge with my, uh, with my sports vehicle here, my Banshee. And in doing so, it just ignites them. Uh, these are not espresso stalls, by the way. They deal something called spank out of these stalls. Spank is basically a fictitious... Um, substance in the Liberty City universe in the GTA 3 video game. Uh, it's an important part of the uh, cartel war. So uh, we are destroying their operations effectively. Do you remember the taxi that I parked earlier? Remember that? Like 15, I don't know, minutes ago? It was, it was, a, it was a while ago. It was during Adido. Remember yeah. what Adido is? Hopefully, the more astute viewer knows what Adido is. Anyway, I'm going to snipe that car, and it's going to blow up the stall that spawns on this mission. You'll just see out of nowhere. Here it comes. Boom. You could even hear it. You could barely hear it. There it is. All right. So that's, uh, that's a very fast way of disposing with that 
uh, stall there. I don't believe the world record route does that because they do a different strat on a Dito that is very, very difficult and yeah. uh, requires your full focus, full attention. Uh, but most most people um, don't do that strat. So, such as myself, I have time to set up the uh, the glitched car there. So, I'm gonna take a look at my rock account four. It's pretty good. So we're just driving around at this point, blowing up some stalls, um, taking the door off. I'm going to line this shot up. Here we go. I can barely see it. Oh, I missed one more. One more. Come on. Get this one. Come on. Ah, yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. I just, I point the thing at the thing and I'm, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Easy. Yep. All right, so we have some uh, some downtime here. I'm going to engage in some shenanigans probably as this bridge goes up. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the cycle. So I'm going to have uh, I'm going to do a little do a little bit of antics while uh, we have some donations right here. All right. The explosive links bought 10 tickets to the $5 hype train. MGS3 is one of my favorite games of all time. So I am excited that we can class it up a bit with a tuxedo run. And nine binary code purchased a nine dollar ticket to the hype train so that snake can be dressed to the nines. Whatever that means. I think that means like your best fit. Maybe. I've heard that before. I've heard that phrase like once in my life. Alright. So I am unfortunately a little low on rockets, but I do have grenade. And that is just as effective. Apparently not. That was a dud. <laughs> Let's try again. Nope. I got old man eyes. I got to, like, stretch. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to be 27 tomorrow, man. Ugh. Sheesh. Not as old as some people I know. We won't name names, though. <laughs> All right. So, moving on to the, uh, the final stall here. I'm going to perform... Uh, some more mega jumps uh, to get back to the, the Dodo once again. Dodo 2. Second, the return of the Dodo. Dodo 2, return of the Dodo. Or like Dodo 2, Judgment Day. Just insert whatever subtitle you like next to Dodo 2. Like Terminator 2 with Die Hard 2. Dodo 2, Dodo Harder. That sort of thing. Whatever you like, man. Make your own movie. Have your own fun with it. All right, off we go. Now, oh, I clipped the top <laughs> of that. Nice. So Got I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the wall there to stop myself. There we go. Yeah, a little more distance than I would have liked. All right. So we got a couple more missions. We got we got the mission SAM, uh, and then we have the mission the exchange. Yep. And it's Last two more two. missions. Yeah, last two. These are still chunky boys, though. They're not, they're no joke. Uh, SAM is actually very, 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 very precise. Uh, but I think I'm going to be able to pull it off. Let's go. All right. So once again, returning to our favorite place on the map. The giant sand dirt place. All right. Down we go. I don't know what's going on here, man. I was I was supposed to like watch the cutscenes and stuff before I did this run. I just I get, I get like bored. <laughs> I just want to play the game, man. I want to watch the cutscenes. I want to play. Let's go. Come on. Get my hands on the keyboard. I want to watch Claw do that goofy run. It like hurts my neck and shoulders thinking about. It. Regardless. Um. So this mission. I actually don't know how you're supposed to do it. The intended way... Do you know, Anty? Do you know? The intended way, like, you're supposed to go to some, like, jetty where there's a boat and a rocket launcher, and you get in the boat, and you just sit, like, at the airport, like, at the end of the runway, and you blow up the plane, like, as it, like, lands. And But that is terribly slow. So what we're going to do is we're not going to take a boat. We're not going to go to the airport. We're going to go to the dam, which is right where the plane initially spawns in. So you can shoot it down like a minute and a half early and it's really great, but it's also really precise because this is not a lot of space here, but he has to work with on the dam here. 
Yeah, so, all right, looks like we got some vehicles here on the dam. That's very, very nice. Let's see if I can grab one. It's actually not essential, but it is nice to have. Uh, it's 5 o'clock p.m. There we go. So I figured I'd be able to get some something here. Any vehicle really works. Um, let's drive Rumpo. Very nice. Drive the Rumpo here. What's he got in the back? Nothing. Damn, dude. Wow. What a waste of a van. <laughs> I know, seriously. No TVs or nothing. All right, so I have a lineup here. I like, I put, you see this little wedge here? Uh, just put Claude's uh, nine sevens here, right between uh, this wedge. And then using the backdrop, using the, uh, the land beyond here, just line up the top right quadrant of this with the backdrop here. I think this will work. I think this is going to be just fine. No, yep, looks um, good. Yeah, it looks good. So, we get a little warning at 1.30. Just taking some breathers, because it's pretty precise. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we got looks it. Good. Let's check, looks good. check the packages. How'd we do? How'd we do? Oh, police are here. Let's get rid of them. All right, very good. Yeah, these packages are decent. Not bad, not bad at all. So now we just drive around, we pick them up. Uh, still got the cop on us, so there we go. Pick up all, all eight. Just drive over most of them. This last one is up here on the, uh, on the railing, so we're gonna have to like jump into it. And off we go. This is gonna be, dare I say, a bad to the bone takeoff, man. We're gonna ramp off the grass. It's gonna be swag. Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh. Give me oh. that tilt. Give me that tilt, son. Oh, no, this is really oh. terrible, actually. <laughs> We're it just gonna was, go it, back it, it and do close. it again. We're it gonna close. do it again. I'm just gonna yeah. do it again. Yeah, I just do it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. People paid good money. $90,000, guys. We raised for this. So $90,000 I... for this takeoff in particular. Yeah. yeah, right here. Yeah. So I think I, I should get another shot at it. All right. Let's 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 give another go. We got some time. We got some time. All right. Come on, man. It's not as hard as it looks, but I did kind of diff it there. Ooh, that's even worse. Oh, All right. Well, not a lot of speed. We, we go again, I think. We go again. We go again. Mm. For defense. One more time. All right. I'll do it one more time. We'll do it one more time, man. That one was even... Why was that worse? How did too, I get too, worse? Too, too, too little speed, I think. Gotta give yourself a little bit more of a run-up. Okay, all right. Yeah, fair. Fair. I did just kind of, like, handbrake 180 skirt and uh, and just try it halfway, but come on. Let's let's ramp it, man. Let's, let's go all the way back. Let's give ourselves as much room as possible. Should be good from here, I think. Take three. Action. Rolling. We're this running out it. of tape for the film. We need to make sure we get this one, guys. Here it is. Oh, that's it. That's it right there. There we go. That's that's much much better. Oh, there don't hit the. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, almost, oh, almost hit the, the, the traffic oh, light. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, no. Oh. You thought I was gonna. You guys are scared. You guys thought I was gonna hit the bridge. Oh, I'll kill a lot. We know. We we all know that the support beams of a bridge are not solid. Everybody knows that. All right. So we're on to the last mission here. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a gag for this final, this final mission. A little bit of a gag. It's not really going to waste a lot of time, but it's not really what you want to do in an environment that is not GDQ. But you guys paid $90,000 for me to be here sitting here today. Pardon me. Just got to clear my throat. <coughs> um, all right. So, this is the final mission. The last one. Catalina, we have finally tracked her down, I suppose. And we're about to exact our revenge after she tried to get us thrown into the can for like 20 years or something. I don't know. Like that guy in The Sopranos. Um, anyway, we're going to take our plane on a little victory lap here. A final couple of flights. All right, 
back up to uh, this cliff face. I'm actually going to put this down gently. I don't know what kind of condition this plane is in. I don't want to. I want to rough her up too bad. There we go. So we lose all our weapons. Is there something happens? I don't know. And and now we, this is supposed to be our death sentence, I suppose. Uh, Catalina was here, I think. Now she's trying to get away. She's scared. She's run. There she goes. Who gets a helicopter? Where did it come from? I know. It's out of nowhere. There we go. Look at that. That's insane, actually. Very impressive. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a very particular flight and just graze the trigger to spawn in the guys that are on the dam. Usually you're supposed to have this epic, climactic fight through this, uh, this compound by the dam. Uh, instead, I'm going to try and fly just low enough to trigger everybody. And land. Please stop. Uh, please stop. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're in there. Grab nice. the package. Why not? We got time. Packages. All right. Yeah, this game's full of them. I know. We're There's like 99 more that I might get off stream for fun. I don't even know where they all are. All right. Anyway, we're going to trigger the cutscene. There, there, there she is in the background. That's Catalina. We're gonna we're gonna knock out these guys. Just take care of them. There's this guy here. Sometimes I forget that he exists, honestly. Poor guy. This is uh Maria from earlier. You'll remember she was very excited in the limo. And um I'm gonna put on my shades. Because this is gonna be very bright. The explosion <laughs> incoming is gonna be very bright. We're gonna try and uh I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna pause while I do this. <laughs> Sorry. We're going to try 360 this baby. Let's go. Let's go, son. Here we go. Time is when the cutscene occurs here. After I blow up the helicopter. Oh, I missed it. It's okay. Oh, no. Oh, we no. We failed. Oh, no. Should we try it again? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. People paid ninety thousand dollars for this. <laughs> we tried again. I got that in practice every time, dude. Unbelievable! I cannot. I. I can't. I'm. Can you guys close your eyes, please? I. Everybody watching, I'm a little nervous. Maybe. Maybe I have performance anxiety. It's okay. Let's try it one more time. I. This is a total whiff, right? That wasn't even close. Was that close, Santi? It was kind of close. Okay. Know? All right. At least it wasn't like a total miss. No, it's not like you shot in every direction. Like it was. It was pretty close. All right. Good. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Problem. That's that's. Yep. Yeah, that's. That's scary. really bad. It's really really bad. All right. Let's get out. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Um. Hmm. What? What do we do in a situation like this? We, we, we jump, jump over it. We jump over it. Do we jump over it? We attempt to jump over it. This has never happened before. <laughs> Can you leave me alone? Thank you. Oh my oh, god. Wh why did that happen? <laughs> uh, that might well, make it easier. Yeah, yeah, baby, let's go. Intended, intended. I don't even know how that happened, but you know. Me neither. Me neither. All right. We're all good. Oh, watch out. Watch out, Maria. Watch out. Okay. Good? We're good, I think? All right. Come on, man. I'll try to waste... I will try not to waste any more time. It's going to be bright, boys. I actually can't see the monitor when I'm doing this because the shades <laughs> are polar polarized, so... It's okay. I'll tell you when to shoot. Okay. It's got to be just pure muscle memory, all right? All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 360 time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good game. Residents in Cedar Grove have been coming to terms with the emotional aftermath of a full-blown war that hit the area right. yesterday. 
Thank you guys all for being here today. I know I went over estimate, um, but I really appreciate everybody hanging out, dealing with the uh, the technical difficulties, and uh, just being here for us today. Thank you for the well wishes, the birthday wishes, and thank you for uh, donating the ninety thousand dollars, guys. Seriously, seriously, that is incredible work. Continue to donate throughout the week. Please do that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the marathon. And uh, I really want to appreciate all the volunteers, the donors, everybody that brings just just makes something really really special out of speedrunning. Really truly amazing work that is put on by GDQ, and I really do appreciate it. And see any closing words, man? Yeah, thank you so much for having me on. It was it was really an honor. Like I've never been on GDQ before, and this is the first time. I think it was great, despite the technical difficulty at the start. I'm really thankful to have, uh, you know, participated for a good cause. All right. We won't waste any more of your time. We're about to get out of here. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, KZ Fru, for that wonderful run. 360 rocket launcher for the finish. Might have been a GDQ first. Uh, we do have some uh, donations for the hype train. Sig Pipe donates $25, says GTA 3 run has been amazing. Let's get that tuxedo incentive done. Slime Gloomy with two tickets. Let's get that M MGS3 tuxedo run. $50 from Double Atari. Another great marathon. Another donation. Thanks for all that you folks do. And a $25.55 donation from King Moose. Snake. Snake, looking good, Snake. All right, and with that, we'll be back in just a moment right after this. Thank you, Evan.
for Games Done Quick 2021 online. Uh, at this time, we'd like to give a shout out to Fangamer, one of our favorite video game merchandise companies. They have an exciting announcement. There is new SGDQ merchandise available now, including an event badge, a limited edition pin, a water bottle, joggers, and more. 100% of profits from the GDQ merch sales support MSF, and you can learn more by going to fangamer.com slash GDQ. That does it for me. We're going to take time now to visit some of our prizes that are being offered and learn how you can win. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite prize, the break screen. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Summer Games Online Done Quick Words 2021. My name is Sent, and I am completely discombobulated. But you know what? That is par for the course. And I am here to tell you about some of the amazing prizes that you could win by donating to the marathon. All the prizes I'm going to be talking about right now are live from now until the end of Mischief Makers a little bit later tonight. So you've got some time to get some donations in. But make sure you get your donations in early because you know what? You're going to want to make sure you don't forget. We've got some really, really cool stuff. So from Konami and Fangamer, we have this absolutely beautiful pack here of Metal Gear Solid playing cards, right? Yep. Look at that. You got beautiful Art of Snake on the front and the Metal Gear on the back. And if uh, we take a look at this open pack they've sent, uh, every single one of the cards in the deck has some Metal Gear characters on them. It's really cool. You got Meryl, uh, you know, you got a Metal Gear right there. Which one is that? Is that Ray? I'm pretty sure that's Metal Gear Ray. My Metal Gear knowledge is lacking. I expect people will make fun of me in the comments there. Uh, but seriously, every single card is super cool. One of my favorite parts about this is that all of the aces in the deck are actually uh, the different snakes. So you got Solid Snake and Liquid Snake as, uh, as the aces. I'm going to just... Old Force of Habit, give them a little shuffle here. But you could pick any card out of this deck and it'd be, it'd be great. Like, I mean, whatever this is. That's probably a pretty good looking card, right? I hope so. I hope that's a pretty good looking card. Let's just put them right back in the box here. Put them away for now. That's all good. So we have so many other absolutely amazing prizes to talk about. I can't wait to do so. From our friends over at Legends of Localization, we have one of my favorite books of theirs to read. This B book, Bad Translation, Video Games. Uh, I, I like this book especially because it's a title I can say because no matter how you say it, you are always correct. <laughs> but... In actuality, it's a fun, short little book kind of through the history of infamous mistranslations or, or weird localizations in early game development. It covers all of the classics uh, from, you know, Zero Wings, uh, classic All Your Base Are Belong to Us, uh, to everyone's favorite Total Recall, You Invaders, Get You the Hot Shotgun Bullets of Die. Um, and, and many more. And it goes into a little more detail about what kind of errors uh, from both people and machines caused these translation and localization issues. It's a really enlightening read. It's only a $5 donation from now until the end of Mischief Makers. So make sure to get those donations in. And thank you so much to the Legends of Localization team for providing it. Uh, now from Fangamer, we have a pair of absolutely adorable Metal Gear Solid pins. First up here, we've got Revolver Ocelot, and you know what this pin has? This pin has a revolving ocelot. Look at that. It just spins around. It's, it's a super cute idea. I absolutely love it, but it's not alone because it also comes with a box. It's just a box. That's all you get for this $10 minimum donation. Wait a minute. That's not just a box. Actually, I have to look at that one to open it. It's Snake. Of course it's Snake. It's always Snake under the box. Quick, hide before Ocelot sees you. A little harder to manipulate without seeing than I thought. But they are super adorable. $10 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Fangamer for providing them. Going to set those off to the side uh, safely. From our good friend Shuggle Up Sketches, we have a collection of three video game-themed sympathy cards. They are functional postcards you can send to people, and they are just absolutely, absolutely adorable. We've got uh, Vivi hugging Zidane here. We've got a, uh, a nice little vase of flowers there. And, and we've got uh, a nice, 
a nice deer pattern. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I forgot the game reference. I feel stupid. You shouldn't feel stupid, though. You should feel great for donating at least $5 to win these. They are some absolutely beautiful cards uh, that express sympathy. Thank you so much to Shuggle Up Sketches for sending them out. Remember, only a $5 minimum donation, and they come as a set of three beautiful cards. What more could you want? Going to stick them back in their little bag they came in and set them off to the side. Now, from Nicoli Canoli, we have a pair of absolutely adorable Hollow Knight Amigurumi. We, of course, have Hornet. Everyone loves Hornet. Hornet is just such a great character, such an expressive character. You know, nobody likes being told to get good, but sometimes you just got to get good if you want to beat Hollow Knight, and Hornet really emphasizes that. And, of course, we have the Vessel. The Vessel, just such a great character in its iconic Mothwing cloak there. You can see on the back, it's a $15 minimum donation, and they come together as a lovely pair. Thank you so much to Nicole Canoli for sending out those lovely Amigurumi. Oh... From uh, Jason Dresser, we have this absolutely lovely print here that I am holding upside down of a Dreamcast and Flowers. It's not abstract. It's just a game console. It's maybe one of the best game consoles that left before its time. The Flowers symbolize uh, the memorial for it. Or maybe they just symbolize really pretty flowers and a really nice game console. It's a $20 minimum donation for this lovely print. Uh, thank you so much to Jason for sending it out, and it looks absolutely great. Now... For a $25 minimum donation, we've got something a little bit special here. From Core, we have this absolutely massive Little Nightmares blanket. Trying to figure out the best way to show it off, probably just to drape half of it over myself and, and kind of hold it up. It's super cool. It's patterned with characters from the game. Uh, the front is kind of like a soft... Um, I want to say almost like a soft nylon, and the backing of it is more of like a fuzzy felt. It's a very warm, very luxurious. It feels quite nice here. I'm going to take it off, though, because it's about 95 degrees outside, and we are on fire. But it's a $25 bit of donation. It's massive, by the way. I think it's like 5 feet by 7 feet or something. Um, I, this, is, this is it folded in half and it still won't fit on screen. That's how you know it's massive. $25 minimum donation. Thank you so much to Core for providing that. And if we're going to talk about prizes, we got to talk about our $50 day prize here. We have this absolutely beautiful small neck. It's not a tall neck. It is indeed a small neck. And it comes to us from Kaito Ace. Uh, it's a $50 minimum donation from now until the end of Mischief Makers. So if you haven't gotten your $50 donation in today, you should definitely do so. Get yourself a chance to win the small neck. How could you not want it? It's like an evil mechanical puppy. Everyone wants an evil mechanical puppy. It's like the basis of every sci-fi show. Come on now. How could you not love it? Especially one that's as soft and huggable as this. Thank you so much to Kaito Ace for sending it out to us. And of course... I can't talk about prizes without talking about our grand prizes. We have two amazing options for them this time. Both of them are $250 minimum cumulative donations throughout the event. So that means you got to donate at least $250 but you can do it throughout the entire event. So $50 is going to get you into everything I just talked about right now, including this lovely, huggable, small neck plushie right here. Uh, and it'll get you one-fifth of the way into entered into both of our amazing grand prizes. Now, first off, from our friends over at Heroic Replicas, we have your choice of one of their amazing custom replicas. Huge shout-outs to David Heroic Replicas making all of these awesome items, sending us photos of them, sending us display models so we can show them off to you. They are so cool. You got to head over to gamesdonequick.com and check them out. There's a full album as well as a full list of all the choices, but there are so many great ones. Zelda fans. Zelda is like Dave's forte. You got the Master Sword. You got Dark Link Sword. You got the Hylian Shield. You got the Light Scale Trident. You got the Megaton Hammer. You got so many great options. If you're a Zelda fan and you win the prize and you want a Zelda replica, you got a functional Zora guitar, also available as a bass if you're a bass player from Majora's Mask. It's an electric instrument that you can actually play. Emphasis on you, I certainly actually can't play it. 
You definitely can if you win, though, and it looks amazing. One of the previous winners uh, from, I think, HDQ 2020 had theirs painted bone white, and it just came out as, like, the most metal-looking thing I've ever seen. So many great options. Head over to gamesdonequick.com and check them all out. And, of course, from SkyTech Gaming, we have our SkyTech Gaming Mark 9 Gaming PC. You gotta check out the specs on this thing. It's absolutely incredible. 5800X CPU, 3070 Ti GPU, 750 uh, watt gold plus rated power supply, all amazing parts. I think it retails somewhere around $3,000. And, you know, that's especially considering those are a bunch of parts you, just, you can't go out and buy right now. You can't go to a PC store and get yourself a 3070. It's not happening. But you might be able to get yourself one if you donate at least $250 through the marathon and win that amazing prize. Thank you again so much to SkyTech Gaming for providing that. Well, I think that just about handles uh, everything I need to do, unless I'm forgetting something. So as a reminder, you can always go over to gamesdonequick.com and check out the tracker. The tracker is the source of information for everything related to the marathon. It's going to tell you everything you need to know about all of the upcoming games in the marathon. And boy, do we have some amazing games coming up. Games like Metal Gear Solid 3. You definitely don't want to miss them. It's going to tell you about all kinds of amazing incentives that we have in the marathon. And boy, do we have some great incentives coming up right now. Right now, we've got all the names for Golden Sun available tomorrow morning. You definitely want to check that out. Uh, those are still open, and you can make Plexa play with whatever names you would like. Plenty of characters to handle. Uh, and of course, all of the absolute amazing prizes that you can win by donating because there are even more prizes than you see here. And w wait a minute, hold on. One last thing. Hey, Twitch chat, just out of curiosity. Is this your card? Thank you so much, Scent. Hello, friends. My name is Breezeby, and I am so excited to be your host for the next few runs. We have some really cool ones on deck. Next up, we'll have Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD, and then we'll be rolling right into Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is a race. And trust me, you are not going to want to miss this. So hang in there. It's on the way. But. In the meantime, I have a lot of wonderful donations from that last segment. Let me get through some for you. I have $5 from Sir Dabbit that says, that GTA 3 run was amazing. Let's start a $5 donation train. If you liked that run, donate $5. Hey, that's a really good idea. Thank you. I have a $50 donation from Double Atari that says, another great marathon, another donation. Thanks for all you folks do. And thank you for the donation. Astral Bodies donates $5 that says, GDQ is always my favorite time of the year. So many fun runs and great prizes. Oh, and can't forget the amazing cause. How about a bonus Hitman 3 run? Let's do it. Can't agree more. That incentive just opened up. If you would like to see the bonus game 3 Hitman 3, you should absolutely get those donations in. We've got plenty of time, but we could hit it early, I bet. And the Yeti donated $7,100 saying, Hey all, Yeti here. As you may or may not know, we are big fans of clothing over here at the Yeti. So much that, well, we need to see that snake put on that tuxedo. Let's be honest, it suits him. And that was the donation that got this wonderful incentive met. Thank you so much to everyone who donated and the Yeti. We are going to get right into the action with the one and only Apache Smash with a very fancy run of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD. Take it away.